Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much that there were souls who got saved in the Lord Jesus Christ. May you get all the glory today. And thank you so much for people who repented so that we don't... The last thing we want, God, is your judgment. And all the church can agree. We repent in dust and ashes, Lord, for any evil we've done to our brother and sister in Christ. And may the enemies, our enemies out there, also repent before it's too late. God, right now we surrender every one of those enemies right now to you, God. You know who they are who criticized us and attacked your Bible-believing children. They're your children, Lord. And your word says that if, they're, if those enemies are truly saved, then we hold you to that promise that the Father must chastise his children. And God, we surrender them to you. We ask that you will please chastise them, not because we seek vengeance, but that you'll chastise them quickly before they, before they get greater judgment. And I pray, God, that you'll please do whatever it takes. If whatever it takes, chastisement, blessing, mercy, or whatever it takes to get them to quickly repent and to get right with you and take back all the attacks that they said. We love you, Lord, and we surrender them to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, this is Pastor Gene Kim from San Jose Bible Baptist Church. I know that there's a big controversy out there concerning a lot of things that were going on on the internet, especially against me. But actually, as some of you may have watched in our sermon video, I preached a sermon about I'll bless my enemies on the internet and churches. Now, the Lord actually answered our prayers mightily. So he protected our ministry and took care of us. So I want to give God the glory on that one and to encourage you people out there that the Lord, he does take care of his children. And if this work, if our ministry is of Bible believing truth, then his hand of blessing will be on it and his hand of protection will be on it against our enemies. So as you may have noticed that I gave a prayer in that sermon video that the Lord will take care of our enemies. We do believe this is that when we surrender them to the Lord and our heart is right with God where we actually don't want to curse upon them, but rather that the Lord will straighten them out, that the Lord, he will straighten them out. So it did happen. I mean, it's funny that within less than a season, how the Lord answers our prayers. And I think, you know, it made more sense on that verse where the Bible says there is pleasure in sin for a season. So our enemies out there, they may revel in their sin and take pleasure in that, in persecuting our ministry and our church. But, you know, <laughs> it was only for a season. And the Lord answered our prayers mightily. Like, there's this one person I remember as soon as I uploaded the sermon video about blessing the enemies, the person who attacked us was immediately, coincidentally, the very next day, was criticized himself by other people. And not only that, the enemy that criticized that person actually criticized me as well. So those two enemies who criticized me, the Lord turned them against each other, coincidentally. Now what happened is that the person was tremendously persecuted. The Lord took care of that one. And then uh, the other person just made a, a whole bunch of videos just against criticizing people that the whole world, actually, everyone publicly sees the shame and the embarrassment that that particular person did in just posting videos criticizing people. So that person embarrassed himself and the Lord took care of our ministry, protected us. Not only that, the person, there was another person who criticized us on the internet and then they even sent trolls into our church. Well, what happened is, is that the Lord turned the tables against that enemy and sent trolls into that person's church as well. So, you know, I'm telling you, the Lord, he takes care of his children. And I want to warn you enemies out there that the Lord's hand, he will protect his ministry. And if you are saved, I know you have the Holy Spirit in there that's burning your heart and your conscience with conviction concerning that. So one thing I've learned is that I can't save everybody. So that's the unfortunate thing. But you know, overall, the Lord turned out to be more good than bad. So I want to rejoice and thank the Lord for the enemies attacking us, actually. 
because the Lord brought greater good from that rather than evil. For one, so let me talk about the worst part. The worst part, actually, was that the Lord used it for good where he tested those people's hearts. So deliberately, my enemies took out controversial things, controversial topics from my videos so that they can make me look si silly or stupid or in those moments where I'm like really preaching hard and even using sarcasm to show the truth, they will use that to show how, you know, silly, crazy, and evil that I am. Well, the Lord uses those things to test people's hearts to see if they really seek after the truth. So if the person really seeks after the truth, the person will see all sides, watch all the videos, look at the full context, and then, you know, if the person's heart is seeking after the truth, the Lord will never guide him or her at the wrong path. But if they got deceived by that, then, you know, the Lord did that for a reason. And, you know, I don't want people whose hearts are half heart in the truth anyway. So if people's hearts are half hearts toward the truth, it's good that they didn't stick to our ministry. Now, don't get me wrong. I, uh, I wish everybody would turn to our internet and we could eventually open their eyes to the truth. But you see, the Lord knows their hearts and he knows that in the end, if that person won't be convinced, then hey, it's best that they left anyway, because the people would be a burden rather than a blessing to our ministry. I'm actually glad that people left concerning topics where their hearts are not all the way into the truth. So I don't have to compromise topics to build up subscribers through that. Uh, I also want to s say that the Lord overall worked it out for good because of another reason. It exposed the immaturity and the wickedness of my enemies. So my enemies out there, they deliberately cut out portions where they make me look silly. Uh, I've heard also they made some weird trading cards or images and vi weird video clips about me. 90% of their channel will be just criticizing people or their larger views, one of their largest views would be covering me. So you see in the end what it did was that it made me important to them. It made the public think that I'm important to those enemies out there. Now, I, I unashamedly say that we're a small church. You've heard me say that online before. We're a small church, we're a small ministry. To be honest, I think I'm more than dirt in the eyes of God. The only reason why I would mention or show credentials is to legitimize myself to the viewers. That's about it. But overall, I'm just a nobody. Uh, only a sinner saved by God's grace. Amen. Yet, it's amazing that those enemies would think that I'm a big shot to them. Now, some of them actually claim that I'm not that, that, I'm not that important and they hesitate to mention about me. Well, then why would you mention about me? See, by doing that, you make me popular to the eyes of the public. Not only that, you make the public think that you guys think that I'm important. That's what you're making the public consider. Another thing that the Lord used in Miley for his glory is that the Lord, he just answered our prayers in a mighty way. I think that's the greatest thing is that I never witnessed God's power that real of answering prayers concerning our enemies until they attacked us. So I want to thank God very much that those attacks happened so I can see his miraculous power. During the midst of suffering, you gotta understand, during the midst of suffering, when the enemies attacked, that actually riled me up, emboldened me even more that I can't quit the ministry. Why? Because what would the enemy say out there? So I want to say this is that the enemies of God had a chance to make me silent, to make me unpopular, and to make me non-existent and even I could have stopped the ministry sometime somewhere and probably quit because I'm flesh you know who knows but the thing is is that because they attack me now they embolden me more than ever to not quit God's ministry and to continue actually because if I quit I would be thinking to myself well then what would the enemy say about me see that so I want to rejoice and thank the Lord that he actually took care of it Actually, the Lord's blessing is so upon us and protection upon us that our subscribers are building up faster than all of our enemies who attacked us. And I mean all of the enemies attacking us, the Lord built up our subscribers faster than they do. So now it is true some of the enemies, very few though, very few of the enemies out there may have subscribers larger than us. 
but they're slowing down a lot and the Lord is speeding us up even more. Some of those enemies out there and even trolls, what they're doing now, which makes me actually happy, is that they're trying to seek attention from me. They're trying to say, well, Pastor Gene Kim, he's obsessed with me and he posted vi a lot of videos against me. People who talk like that, it makes me wonder, are you a has-been then? You're probably a has-been because you're not seeking, you're not getting attention now. So all you can do is go back to the past of videos where I criticized you or certain heretics to gain your popularity. It shows that you're very desperate and you're a has-been. That shows your pathetic side even more. Now, actually, the Lord showed me this. I did criticize some of those people, some of those enemies out there a long time ago. Because, as I told you before, when it comes to heresy, I don't compromise. And I will even name and call out the heretics. But actually, some of those names I don't mention anymore now. The reason why is that now they're a has-been. Back then, they used to be popular and big, but now they've slowed down incredibly. A lot of people actually never heard of those heretics' name, which I myself was surprised. They would say, who is this so-and-so that you mentioned? And I was actually surprised. So it's amazing that the Lord will actually bless our internet ministry more than other people. Uh, those enemies out there, it's just amazing. Lord would out-bless us more than those enemies out there. So th those, tr those guys are has-beens now. Now they're trying to seek attention and glory through our Bible-believing movement and through our internet ministry. Some of the Bible-believing preachers that I'm friends with, Bible-believing Bible leaders I'm friends with, now they're trying to seek attention from those guys uh, that, oh, they criticized yours truly, those Bible-believing leaders that are connected with Pastor Gene Kim over there. That shows how pathetic you are. And overall, what the Lord did is that either that uh, we're outgrowing faster than the internet channels who are bigger than us, or the internet channels are too small that we're much more, we're way larger than them. So either way, the Lord's blessing our internet ministry more than they are. Now it's possible, don't get me wrong, I believe it's possible and I always preach this. If the Lord closes our internet channel or slows us down, hey, I'm not worried about that because in the end, the Lord in some way will bless us more, protect us more, and prove that power publicly, publicly and privately, and individually, including my enemy's hearts, on who's in the right. So overall, the Lord answered our prayers. And I think that's the greatest thing. Overall, the Lord answered our prayers, and I think that is the greatest thing that He proved. And you know, if you're my enemy out there who criticized me, if you have the Holy Spirit in there, you do know that. Now, some people out there might accuse me, well, what about you? What about you? Hey, as a person who believes that he's flesh and he's wrong and he's imperfect, of course I do. So during those midst of those attacks, you know what I do? Rather than... Uh, immersing myself, drowning myself in pride that, oh, I'm right, look at how bad they're doing, how good I'm doing. I don't see it that way. I look at a person's heart, so I self-reflect myself and say, you know, these enemies attack me. I wonder if they're right, Lord. Maybe I'm wrong about something. And actually, I did. Those videos that critique me, I did reflect myself and wonder if I did something wrong. And they could be right in attacking me. So I don't judge my enemies so easily. And you know what the Lord did when you self-reflect yourself? This is what happens. When enemies attack you and you're humble enough to take in the criticism and say, what I did wrong, if your heart is right, it, your faith will increase even more that what you said, which was criticized by your enemies, is even more true than before. So actually, my enemies increased my faith that whatever I said online that was controversial or criticized by them, I even believe more now that what I said was true than wrong because I self-reflected myself carefully on what areas that I may have been in error on. But, you know, it confirmed more that I was in the truth. So, overall, if a person's heart is right with God, they know that the Lord will take care of them. The Lord took care of us. The Lord took care of our enemies. And I want to give a final warning to my enemies out there. And you've heard me preach this in the sermon too. And if you have the Holy Spirit in you, it should convince, convict you. 
You know, the Lord answered our prayers within less than a season. Some of you know that I prayed about that and you got bad things going on in your ministry and even in your church. I've heard that one of the enemies out there who criticized me lost his two right hand men, actually. That's how bad it was. The other person, he had an account set up where he had a lot of people leaving. So, you know, overall, hey, it's your decision, you guys who criticize me online, that's your decision. All I can do is pray for you. But the Lord, he'll take care of us, and I know that.